in uh, resource poor farming systems in the semi-arid tropics, it's really challenging to find opportunities for innovation. By innovation I mean things like uh, market-led opportunities for smallholders to get out of poverty. Things like cash crops or livestock enterprises, um, opportunities to, to make money from the farm, to make a profit so that they can pay for food and school fees and, and all the things you need to do as a family and a farm. So in our innovation systems for the drylands program, we're trying to find ways of um, helping farmers find these innovations. And one of the key things we, we um, use is systems modelling tools. So we bring together multidisciplinary scientists, so they may be economists or biophysical scientists or market um, orientated people, and we bring together tools, systems modelling tools, such as um, crop modelling or understanding how climate varies and how that affects um, farming systems. And the, the workshop that we've been doing this week is all about value chain assessment and, and modelling value chains and opportunities for um, using value chains in um, bringing innovation to smallholder agricultural systems. We're here at a workshop on value chain simulations in the context of innovation systems. We have learned different interventions along the value chain that can benefit different actors in terms of monetary gains or production gains. And I believe that this is very helpful and can be transferred in the context of stakeholder engagement where we can show the different actors like farmers what would they gain if they invest in technologies. We can also show governments what would they gain if they would support technologies and market interventions. And very important for us is in terms of new technologies, in, uh, communications, what if we invest in technologies, markets and communication which um, creates trust and confidence amongst these actors to engage in markets and thereby increase the gain from value chain interventions. I've come to this workshop which is a great opportunity to explore uh, options for smallholder development and there's really two key areas that we're looking to, um, to exploit here with farm systems models and that's technology adoption and value chain development. So the system dynamics tools are a very useful, uh, simple model for quickly building complex systems and being able to visualize them very clearly and being able to pinpoint parts in the value chain where really big improvements can be made. Um, things like identifying bottlenecks and identifying key points in the value chain where we can maximize improvement of these systems. Did an excellent job in uh, building the capacity of the uh, scientist community in the dwelling system and also create the link uh, with uh, you know, different uh, stakeholders uh, in uh, dwelling system developments. For the last three days we have been using I think software uh, which integrates all the systems like production, marketing, economic and political systems to develop the uh, desirable policy scenarios. So I hope it will be useful for us to, uh, to develop new research proposals and also give the suitable policy decisions to our state government as well as central government. And it has been really interesting learning about dynamical systems. As a mathematician, I've been interested in on how dynamic systems is applied in value chains. So now we are learning about peak value chains and it's really been interesting. Now looking forward to see how it can be applied on crop livestock value chain. For us to create lasting impact uh, on farm and, and get people out of poverty requires not only for farmers to adopt technologies and improve their own productivity, but the great incentive lies in how we link farmers to functional value chains to provide the, the resources for farmers to make those input, but also provide the incentive to change their behavior. Modeling processes like the ones we've used this last week and got training on is, is invaluable to not only to understand the systems better but also for us to evaluate the most important or, or effective entry points into these systems, guiding our research in the future.